Hello everyone, my name is Pankaj and in this protector video series we are going to see that how to find element on the web page, how to find multiple elements on the web page and third we are going to see that how to find sub elements of an element. So to start with I am going to create a new file, a new spec file, I will just name it as finding elements underscore spec dot js and inside that we'll start writing test cases so first of all we have to write describe block in which you have to give a summary of the test case cases and inside the function of this describe we have to write it block so each it block is a test case tc1 finding elements and write the function of it block and first of all what you do you try to get the website load it in your browser so i'll say browser.get http angular js.org so the website is loaded and now the second task will be to create an xpath so in this website what i'm trying to do i'm going to click on learn button so right click on learn and go to inspect here you can see that the document object model for this particular element is displayed here so you will find that this tag angular tag is inside an ally that ally is inside an u inside an ul so just press ctrl f right click and create an export for that ul so how can you do it double forward slash star and inside square bracket put an add the red symbol type attribute name which is class here in this case and the value of that class so this is nav after that where you have to go you have to go in ul so uh, uh, sorry by it is already an ul so inside that there are allies so li1 is for learn so here you can see that this xpath works for this element it has selected this you can also say uh, forward slash a so it will directly go on this and once you click or create an xpath you also have to verify that there is only one element found so that it can perform the action on only one element not multiple elements so this xpath we have found so i'll say learn element is equals to element by dot xpath and inside double quotes i'll place my xpath so to find one element what you have to do is you have to say element inside by dot xpath and then put the value of that xpath so this is how you'll be able to find the element now you can perform any action on that so i'll say learn element dot click and it will be very fast so we have to wait for a while so that we can see the action on the screen so i'll say wait for five seconds we have to put the value in milliseconds now we have to give the reference of this spec file in our conf file so open your conf.js and place here your spec file now run it and see how it works it has launched the chrome browser trying to get the website the website is loaded it will click on learn button we are waiting yeah yeah you can see a drop down and it will wait for five seconds and close here you can see one spec and zero failure now what we we have to find multiple elements so how we can do it uh, we'll see we'll put a variable name as where menu elements is equals to so what how we created the xpath for this learn we said go to nav class go to nav class and then create it like this do not put at the rate li and a simply go till class nav and then say it will find one element where the class attribute and its value is nav but we have to find all these three elements so here you can see that we have created this x path this x path will take you till here nav and inside that this ul there are three allies so i'll say forward slash ally i'm not going to place a number like if you have to access the number one then inside a square bracket you have to say one or two or three so i'll say all the allies should be selected and stored in menu elements 
but this element will not work so here we'll have to say element dot all by dot x path and then the common x path which works for multiple elements now let's say we have to click on first element or the last element so what we can do we can simply use this to say dot last dot click and see it will click on the last element which is there in the menu so i'll also say that browser dot sleep for five seconds so that we can view what is happening on the screen so i'm going to comment it and now this statement will be executed now let's run it again chrome browser has been opened angular js is loading and it will try to click on last element which is discuss so it has clicked and you can view the element